Welcome back to Sexified Fallout 4. I'm Rook, and this very lovely girl in her new wetsuit is nasty. Uh, so this is the Fortezella wetsuit. It's one variant of the Fortezella wetsuit. Um, I just installed this mod, and I was going to test it, and so... But here's the thing, guys. Okay, we're out here on the Libertalia. So, um, look, they've got a chemistry station here. And they, down, uh, I think down one floor, down below here. Let's take a quick look. Um, I don't know where. I, I've been, I wandered around this place. I looted up all the corpses. We, um, we found a, an armor workbench somewhere around here. And I was able to scrap a bunch of stuff. And so, fortunately, that freed up a bunch of weight for me. That was my first concern. And I thought, oh, well, what the heck? Let's test some of this Fortezella stuff I in installed. Now, I didn't install the whole set. There's just tons and tons and tons. In fact, from what I understand, there is potentially millions of combinations with this armor if I get, like, all of it installed. Uh, I wanted to see how it works. Here's the thing, guys. I don't really know how to use Body Slide yet. I'll work on that so I can, you know, make sure that all the different armors I want to test out and play with uh, work. But for now, since I not, I don't know how to use that tool yet, um, I'm kind of just hoping that the armor works with the bodies I've got. Anyway, that's that's that. I'm lame. And But look at this armor. It's got... Okay, I can't... Let's zoom in a little bit here. Um, it's got great textures and stuff. Now, uh, here's the other thing. I installed... Now, it goes just like um, like the Kerrigan bodysuit. It goes underneath everything. Um, so, that's great. I can put stuff over the top of it. Here's the uh, Fortezella Wetsuit 1 version. This has... Again, you know, it's great style and everything. But this has got legs and stuff. And I kind of like the... the um, the one without the leg covering on it, I don't know. They're both great. They're both great. Uh, so I like it a lot, but I I can't upgrade it because I don't have all the other stuff with it, you know. And I uh, like I don't have all the other parts that I need. I I scrapped a bunch of stuff, all the leather I needed to make these things. And now there's a Fortezella naked and Fortezella Fortezella body synth one. Now if I put on the naked one. Uh, yeah, she is totally naked, totally naked under there, and so we can't look at her from the front side. Her, we can see her little bottom there, and that's okay, but uh, we we can't do that. Uh, but I want to play with these things um, quite a bit more. I'm really excited about having them. But for now, what I am going to do is we're going to gear up here, and we're going to go finish this place. There's a guy above us somewhere that needs to be dealt with so I just need to find all my appropriate things to put on I'm gonna put on this combat helmet and um, but yeah these these are, are great and um, you know I like the naked variant and all that but it's just not YouTube friendly um, so what else do we need uh, the Kerrigan collar and glasses and we need to put on our chest and our arm and Kerrigan's bodysuit. This is clearly far and away the best. Like you look at the damage resist, it gives me extra AP and all that stuff. It's just that's crazy for me to not wear that in combat until I get something at least close to it. You know, I, I am frankly, I'm I'm getting bored with it. It's a gorgeous suit. It's great in every respect. But, you know, I like to switch things up a bit, and unfortunately right now I just don't have anything close to that to replace it with. But that's fine. Here's Kate. She's very pretty. We can put her, uh, we can make her naked too, and that's uh, that's a good thing. But we're not going to worry about that right now. What we are going to worry about is uh, how to get up top. I know, look, this place, uh, we slept a little bit uh, just to kind of get the lovers embraced. Excuse me, dog mate. What, can we move through here, please? This dog, he is... Wow, he's just always in the way. Uh, so, yeah, there's down below us, the floor below us here. Um, I found a bunch of stuff. There, I found a, a covert ops manual, which is great. Um, what, where, where am I? Uh, but we're not going down. We need to go up. So, uh, I can't remember how to get up. I think it's somewhere. I don't, I don't know if I get... There we go. Okay, so here we are. We're coming up here. And... I've already cleared it. Oh, freaking dog meat. I've already cleared through 
all the stuff. I think I've gathered everything. I loaded a few weapons onto dog meat to free up more of my carry capacity. And I'm pretty sure I got this whole place um, looted. I could lord it. Dog meat. Good God. All right. So we're going to go into. Yeah, this is. This is all cleared here. So, but man, boy, did I get a lot of really good stuff. So, all right, so we're going to go into the captain's cabin here, and we should encounter some Hold resistance. Hold up a moment, ma'am. There's something important I need to tell you. What is it? I'm going to give you B-592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say, B-592, initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code, Gamma 71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. Jesus, what a mouthful. Sounds like a bunch of bollocks to me. Then talk fast, ma'am. Just make sure you get it right. That's all, ma'am. Ready when you are. Man, I am not going to remember. I hope I don't get an option that gives me some similar... Oh, that freaking mannequins. I hope I don't get a bunch of different options that, um, let's take this stuff. We need this stuff. I just used up all my leather and a bunch of metal and stuff to make these sort of Zella pieces. So, uh, it, God, it's, man, I, I need to maybe rethink my companion situation here because, ooh, Le Fusil Terribles. Wait, okay, whatever. Let's take it. Nice. Okay, we got... What is this thing? It's a shotgun, plus 25% damage and limb damage, but has more recoil. Well, we can deal with that. Let's take it. It's got lots of drum magazine and full stock. Yeah, that's that's a nice little legendary right there. Not that I really use shotguns, but um, it's fine. I can. I don't have any aversion to using them. Alright, what's happening here? Everything's pointing me out. Maybe we just need to go up top. Whatever, we're going to grab all the stuff in here real quick. Oh, oh, God, duck. Man, I'm so bad at this. I don't understand. How can I break picks on novice locks? Nice. All right. And duct tape, good. We needed more adhesive. A life preserver. I didn't know we could take those. All right, so I'm supposed to go up. Is this right? It looks like it. Let's just check around this place a little bit more. What do we have in here? Okay, this looks like the guy's bedroom or something. Well, it said captain's quarters, so I'm assuming this is the um, captain's quarters, maybe. I don't know. It's just a guess. Alright, nice flip lighters are always welcome. Suppressed bolt. Uh, okay, whatever. I don't care about that stuff. Oh, God. Alright. A novice lock, I mean, I could tell Kate to unlock all of this stuff, but honestly, it's just, um, the time spent trying to get her to do it, if it's a novice, it seems silly. All right, well, Gabriel's terminal, what, what's happening here? All right, nobody's pushing me, my W key is stuck. Command prompt log. Previous user from the archives, eh, something unknown, unknown. How to fix piece of ch okay well whatever um, archive for user wire comma James running through food people start to get hungry we're rashing blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, okay head Anderson Williams hang today not Police about to do something. Uh, bunker Hill guards. Gave guards. Uh, uh, 
Okay. They're having trouble. Uh, another caravan. Stiff my boys. The, yeah, these try, guys are trying to shake down and strong arm people, and they're having a tough time of it. Um, four new c recruits, and they heard about caps raider, raiders. It's, that's what what they called us, and they're not wrong. We're taking over. Okay. Um, so these guys apparently were part of the military or something and then they went feral and became raiders and uh, maybe feeling a little bit of moral qualms about it but not enough to make them stop or I don't know I just I didn't really read all that stuff um, I mean I do enjoy the Lawrence but if it's not directly related to my character it just doesn't really matter all that much to me so all right guys um since we are loading out into the wide world it's probably going to take a little bit of time and i want to take this opportunity to thank you all for joining um i really appreciate support uh, for the series if you have not yet subscribed i would gear, encourage I mean, you to do that what okay just like me so, made it to the no. top is the institute so desperate for resources that it's stealing plunder from honest, hard-working Commonwealth gangs. Heh. <laughs> honest Commonwealth gangs. Um. Alright, let's use the recall code. B-592 initialize factory reset. Authorization Gamma 71 Epsilon. Boss? Are you okay? Gabriel, can you hear me? Well, that was Shit, a fun little workout. Can we do it again? We're not alone. I don't think that's a wise idea, little scabber. We'll do this, and then we're going to go over to this guy. Is that it? Okay. There's one shot, and another shot, and we've got two crits already banked. And boy, this gun is great for banking criticals. If I didn't go for headshots, nice work, man. I could just... I'll take the synth back. Oh, okay. You get it. I want... Does he have stuff? Are you going to take him? Okay. Courser says he's going to take him back. I think we've accomplished our goals here. This is... Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Ready to relay with reclaim synth B-592. Whoa! Bam! Just like that, they're gone. Okay, cool. Alright, well, we... We recovered the synth. We did our thing. We're going to get all kinds of other junk. And then, I think we will be good to go because I have... Like, you know, I could backtrack through and gather all the stuff from... Look at this place, though. Look at all of this. Dog meat, don't push me off. Hey, do not push me off here. I will shoot you. I swear to dog. All right. We're going to... I just want to take a look around. Look at all of these areas. This whole thing. All from the shoreline over there. All of this. I could potentially spend another hour and a half here just going around and gathering up miscellaneous loot and there might be some good stuff if if by the way you guys know specifically that there is good stuff, i can always come back here uh and find it but uh, i don't really want to spend all of the time just getting that loot let's see here uh we got a master lock terminal all right you're up hey hmm? Here, do this. Think you can unlock that? I'll get it done. Oh, she can't do that. She, it has to be the terminal. All right, you won't get it done, will you? No, you won't. I know better than that. All right, let's stop pressing the wrong buttons. All right, so we came up here. We haven't been up to the tippy top here. We're not getting through this lock. No, no way. way. Yeah, I figured as much when it said, you know, terminal required. And you're no Nick Valentine when it comes to terminals, Kate, I'm sorry to say. But, um, all right, well, cool. I mean, I suppose we could run around naked a little bit, um, but <laughs> let's, let's see what we've got next on our agenda, um, data quest-wise. Synth retention... Return to father, and we need to talk to Desdemona. And, oh, we need to take this uh, 
serum to Virgil. Maybe we should do that first. Let's go do that, guys. Um, I've got a really nice... Do I have it on me? Yeah, my hazmat suit is pretty pretty nice. Put this guy on, and there we go. Yeah, you can't really tell with all the other gear over the top, but uh, it's a nice hazmat suit, uh, as hazmat suits go. Uh, and let's, uh, yeah, let's head out to the glowing sea, because why not? Got, I got so many other things going. I would like to just um, get some of these taken care of. And Virgil has been waiting. So let's let's head over there. I suppose I don't need the... Um, a little something in my throat. Um, yeah, I don't need the hazmat suit if I'm going straight into his cave. I forgot that we've got this marked, but all right, here we are out in the freaking glowing sea, and in we go to his laboratory. I I really like this Virgil guy anyway. He's kind of he's he's one of the cool mu super mutant guys. Let's see also about maybe doing a little persuasion on him if that's a thing for us. And did I put on my scarf? I did. All right, there. Okay, we don't need to shoot him. Hey, robot. We don't need to talk to the robot either. Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. No, it worked out okay. It did, but I pulled myself together. Uh. <laughs> I suppose you did. Now, what about the serum? Did you find it? Oh, uh, why would I do that? What serum? We had a deal. Mm. I help you get into the Institute. You find the cure that I was working on. It should still be in my old lab, in the Bioscience Division. With any luck, they haven't found it yet. Volker probably still has the place sealed up while he goes through my research. Oh, I, okay, that terminated the conversation, but... What the hell is that awful stench? Oh, sorry, uh, you know, I don't know, fish? Or... Who knows? It's Virgil, probably. Virgil. Have you found the serum? Okay, yeah, um... Here... I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. Has the, uh, <clears throat> reverse transcriptase survived the nucleotide synthesis? Excellent question. Yes. <laughs> yes, it has. Fascinating. No. Oh, did you mean that as a joke? Uh, well, it's time. There's only one way to test it. Not on me. I've had enough testing on me. Tinker Tom did All a right. freaking number on us. Here we go. There we go. And now, we wait. How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Okay. Well, cool. I'm happy to have helped him out. I still can't take his stuff. That that stinks, but I want to look around and see what he's got in here that we might be interested in taking later. Super mutant bracers and stuff. I don't I don't really see anything of tremendous like import to take that we need to take immediately or anything. Nothing I don't already have in abundance, frankly. I've got so much stuff. But, doesn't mean that I don't want more. Hey, turn off the radio. We don't like those radios. All right, 
Well, cool. We've got that handled. I think now we can head back. Protect and serve. Yes, yes, you do that. I will do my own thing while you're protecting and serving. And we're going to get out of this place. And I don't care about the hazmat suit at the moment. We're just going to zip out here and we're going to find Desdemona and finish up with let's her. Move quick. We, this area isn't agreeing with us. Yeah, I know. Let's let's just go. Let's go back. Where's this? Oh, you're back at the headquarters? Ah, man, I was hoping she was out at our, um, the Mercer safe house still. That's where we teleported from. But, no, she's gone back to her homestead, apparently, in the Old North Church. So we're going to head back out there. And, um, why I sold my mother. Okay, that's a great thing. Um, yeah, I, I need to d drop off all kinds of junk and do a bunch of scrappy stuff. And I want to make this Fortezella armor. And now that I see what certain pieces look like, I think I'm going to go ahead and install all the other variants that I downloaded. Or maybe download more variants. I forget now how many. I, I think I only installed a couple just to test. And But now that I know what they kind of look like, I'm curious to see what it all... Now, here's the problem. Like, all my chest, arms, legs, all of the various pieces that go over the top of the bodysuit portion, those all have uh, legendary effects on them. So, uh, to replace them means losing all those legendary effects, obviously, and I'm not thrilled about that. But, I do want to see what it all looks like, and I'm sure you guys probably want to see what it looks like, too. So, here we are, back at the Old North Church. We're going to go in here, we're going to talk to Desdemona, finish up, and I'm glad we're getting a few things handled. And I'm thinking, at some point here, I need to get back to the Brotherhood, because I've got a whole series of quests with them that we have been kind of setting on. You know, I just backburnered them a little bit. All right, let's let's run through here. Uh, where where are we going? All right, I remember my way. It's uh, we've been through here like a million times. I mean, we could go through the back way or through this way, but in the end, I think it's all kind of all the same. You still have to zone a couple times and um, run through all kinds of windy passages and things. Um, but it, I, in the end, it doesn't really matter. We should get out of here. Yeah, we'll get out of here when we're done talking with Desdemona. And maybe we'll check and see what Tinker Tom's got. Um, probably see about... Maybe I can scrap some more stuff here. Or I don't know. I don't know. I think I want to get back to one of our um, settlements and, and deal with that. Hey, it's Charmer. Charmer's back. Hey, yeah, I, I am, and we are. And here we go. We're going to go over here and talk with Desdemona. And, oh, God, she's with Tinker Tom. That can't be good. Oh, thank God. Woo! See, Des, I told you the molecular stabilization matrix held. Funny. You didn't sound certain yesterday. <laughs> it is really, really good to see you. Well, thanks, Des. Did it work? Did you make it inside the Institute? I, uh... uh... You thought I died? I saw you disintegrate right before my eyes. Then the whole machine blew up. Oh, great. Tom insisted you dematerialized in time. But Tom's track record with experiments leaves something to be desired. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been happier to tell Tom I was wrong. It did work, right? Wow. Do I want to tell her how great it is? Um, I'll just... I don't know how much I want to reveal to her, frankly, because I just might be a turncoat. The signal interceptor worked. I've been to the Institute and back again. I almost can't believe it. In Tom's holotape, did you make contact with Patriot? I met Patriot. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job done. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. 
Tinker Tom's cooking up something. Hope it goes better than last time. If, uh, everybody just chill out. There's all so much when talking. When running synths out of the well, wastelanders can be a bigger problem than even the Institute. Right, okay. Pam wants to talk with you. She's in back. Got a lot of synths in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. Right, right, yeah, I, I, I knew... I suppose you're here oh. for my medical... No, services. no, no, all these people have got to talk to me. Hi, Pam. Confirming presence of rogue variable. <laughs> Dispensing data. There are three independent reports of coarser activity. Analysis completed. Based on target's activity pattern, location, and suspected trajectory. Conclusion. The Institute is actively looking for railroad assets. Stop gap solution. Terminate coarser threats whenever possible. So, yeah, as far as nicknames go, Rogue Variable is probably not the worst. Wouldn't killing a coarser blow my cover? Two facts. Fact one. If Rogue Variable leaves no survivors, chance of undercover mission being compromised is 1.3%. Railroad Alpha has deemed this an acceptable level of risk to preserve the current railroad organization construct. Fact 2. Only agents of designated subclass Heavy capable of eliminating coarser threat. That's me or, um, what's her face? Uh, uh, uh Go on. Glory. Target designated coarser Alpha is in a defended location with lower generation synth targets. Eliminate coarser variable, leaving no survivors. End of discussion. Okay, well that was just... Alright, remove... We gotta... Alright, we gotta go eliminate a coarser. Uh, which I don't mind doing that. Um, you know, like the regular synths, not so much. Um, at least the Gen 3s. And whatever, but... What are you doing? That's that's not your job, Kate. I'm supposed to be entering the data. What what the hell, girl? All right, let's come on. Get get away from that. Go away. System. So yeah, I love Pam so much. She's so cool. Okay, access records. Access restricted. Sorry. Have a nice day. Okay, that's uh, that. Uh, latest prediction models. Access restricted. Oh, crap. Railroad Alpha. Is she Railroad Alpha? Maybe. No. No, that's got to be Des, right? Desdemona. All right. In Institute report. Got it. Well, that was quick. Uh, Institute one. Though it wasn't a certainty, thankfully, the signal interceptor worked. When I materialized, I found myself... This is apparently what I just typed in. When I materialized, I found myself in an empty room... Z114 can get the 13 cents in place, but in order for them to make it to the teleporter, Patriot needs a username and password for V1 of CIT's Code Defender. End of report. Preliminary analysis of new data collecting. Blah, blah, blah. Consult with Pam immediately, Agent. Thank you. All right. So... Locked. Building statistical model for Operation Tea Party. So you and Glory got assigned the same op. Compartmentalization of intel does have its cost. Okay. Well, we don't need to talk with Desdemona right now. We need to talk with Pam. Preliminary analysis complete. Anything we need to move on? Affirmative. Code name Patriot requires admin credentials for Code Defender security software. Cross indexing CIT security administrators with 2077 Commonwealth Census records. Filtering by surviving structures. One match found. Bergman. Wilfred. Bergman. Wilfred. Registered as co-owner of Cambridge Polymer Labs. Estimated 81% chance of login credentials being located at this facility. What can you tell me about Cambridge Polymer? Cambridge Polymer Labs, LLC had several active military contracts specializing in robotics. The region is currently classified as extremely dangerous. Ooh, I like After extremely dangerous. After you get the password report back here. With any luck, we'll have a game plan by then. 
Okay, well, cool. I think I know what we're going to be doing next time. For now, I'll just say thank you so much. Tom's uh, got more goodies in stock. Uh, Check with him. Right. Okay, drummer boy. Um, thank you so much for that, and thank you all for joining us. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please smash that like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe if you haven't, and we will talk with all of you again very, very soon. Commencing recurrence analysis using Debrovian method. Debrovian method. Okay. Bye, guys.